Family and friends gathered on Jefferson Street tonight to remember the victims in today's double homicide. There was a heavy police presence for the emotional tribute to the victims. 27-year-old Joshua Spann and 23-year-old Auden Jubilee Simpkins were shot to death outside the state fairgrounds at the start of the St. Patty's Parade. 27-year-old Jordan Cummins has been charged in their deaths. Spann tried to intervene during a domestic situation when he was shot. Tonight, friends and family members say they want justice for the victims. And this vigil is about how they lived and how they touch the lives of so many. Shalom, I would like to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sister Akim, pushing this word out across the four corners of the world. I have an article from WLBT.com, and the title says, Family and Friends Remember Double Homicide Victims. Joshua Spann and Alden Jubilee Simpkins were shot and killed Saturday. And this shooting incident transpired this past weekend within Jackson, Mississippi. And this article was also published on March the 30th, 2023. And it says, family and friends gathered on Jefferson Street Thursday night to remember the victims in Saturday's double homicide. Two people were shot and killed near the Howe Street Patties Parade by a wanted Florence man Saturday afternoon. And this is one of the victims by the name of Alden Jubilee Silkis. There was a heavy police presence for the emotional tribute to the victims. 27-year-old Joshua Spann and 23-year-old Alden Jubilee Simpkins were shot to death outside the state fairgrounds at the start of the St. Patty's Parade. And here's the photo of the Jake that got shot to death, Joshua Spann. And it says, 27-year-old Jordan Cummins has been charged in their deaths. Spann tried to intervene during a domestic situation when he was shot. Thursday night, friends and family members said they want justice for the victims and the vigil was about how they live and how they touch the lives of so many. But the main point I'm going to highlight and build the spirit in this lesson, how this guy right here, Joshua Spann, tried to intervene during a domestic situation when he was shot. And by the consequences of that, when this guy, Jordan Cummins, shot Joshua Spann, when the bullets also hit this chick right here, Alden Jubilee Simpkins, which she had really nothing to do with this situation. But if Joshua Spann was in the right spirit, meaning having that spiritual insight of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, then he would know not to do this according to the scriptures. Because as you can see in this day of time, we are in some very crazy, awkward, and demonic times, which are indicators according to biblical prophecies that we are at the end of the last of the last days. And that takes me to Ephesians, the fifth chapter and the 16th verse. And it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So this thing that we call life, which is the movie of Yahweh Bashim Abishai. And while we are approaching the end of Esau's chapter, AKA his rulership, and it's about to be transitioning to a righteous rulership by the arms of our salvation, Yahweh Shai, before we get to that very special moment, you are witnessing crazy things happening around all the news, which leads up with biblical prophecies. So for the ones of us have that spiritual ourself of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, we're supposed to redeem the time because the days are evil. And that's why it says in Proverbs 8 and 34, Bless is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. So you're supposed to observe the times that we are in. And by observing that, you will know it's a lot of left-hand spirits upon the masses of these people. They are not governed in that right spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which means a lot of these people are mentally unstable, mentally deranged. They are not right in the head. That's because it's a lot of left-hand sinister spirits upon these people. So you have to be walking in the spirit to not try to cause quarrels or any type of friction with these people. Because a lot of them are not dealing with full common sense. You have a lot of these people on meds. They got the juice. So all of that left-hand vibration is putting more left-hand spirits upon them. Which takes me to Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity should abound, meaning transgressions, sins. And what is sin according to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, via the scriptures? Sin is the transgression of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, laws. And on top of that, 
you have the man of sin referencing to Esau Edom, who is also known as the most highest vessel of this honor. So while he's in rulership, you can see how everything is on a very low, dismal vibration. He's not upkeeping the true upright principles of Yahweh Bashim Shah. And that's why this current world or this system is in a total disarray. And it says, and because iniquity should abound, the love of many should wax cold. So the type of love of compassion, being considerate, caring, and the list goes on, all that is decreasing. And these are telltale signs according to the Holy Scriptures that we are surely approaching the second arrival of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That is why all of these strange, demonic activities is happening around this world. And once you look up that word cold right here in the Greek, in the blue letter, it goes into sukos, which is where you get the word psychosis or psychotic from, which also further explains through the spirit why a lot of these people are mentally unbalanced, mentally demented, insane, not in their right minds. So jumping back to this article, and this guy right here, Joshua Spann, was walking in wisdom toward them that are without, as it says in Colossians 4 and 5, then he would be a lot more mindful of just jumping in or intervening with someone else's situation, especially regarding domestic. And that takes me right to Proverbs 26, verse 17. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. And that's what this Jake Joshua Spann did. He interfered with someone else's argument or quarrel. Maybe he was trying to be a negotiator or a peacemaker, but not redeeming the times that we are in, which are some crazy, demented, and demonic times that this particular situation caused him his life. And also a so-called innocent bystander. And we already know, according to the spirit, this young lady who got hit as well, it was already preordained from Yahweh Bashim al for this particular judgment happen on this particular day at this particular time. But like I stated earlier, I wanted to mainly highlight upon how this Jake interceding with a domestic situation that belongs not to him. So back again in Proverbs 26 and 17, he that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. And you have a lot of these Jates in these modern times are really Captain Saver hoes. Beta bills, you know, that feminine energy. And they be quick enough to jump into a situation when they see a woman is being so-called attacked, but not being heedful of the times that we are in. And walking in wisdom by applying the scriptures in situations like this. And that takes me to 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 11. And this is in the NLT, the New Living Translation. Make it your goal to live a quiet life, minding your own business and working with your hands, just as we instructed you before. That's simple and plain. And just within that short amount of time, Yahweh Bashim Shai had judged three lives. Alden Jubilee Simpkins, Joshua Spann, and the shooter, Jordan Cummins. And when we see these type of incidents take place, this is in the category of the righteous judgment from Yahweh Bashim Shai. As it says in 2nd Ezra 8 and 61, and therefore is my judgment now in hand. So, Abarathazah, you all stay edified, you all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom.